Time for the next Recent Reads. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I have got a Recent Reads for you. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing three books. Typically I do four, but this time around I'm doing three because that's just what I'm going to do. So, um, And one of them is actually kind of long. So I've got all sorts of different genres in here. i got thriller, i got, I think we're going to call it a fantasy book, and then we have uh, science fiction. So different brands of genres in this one, and uh, also don't forget to check out everything that's listed down below. Podcast is back up and running. Very exciting times. We've got the Pango books down there, selling some stuff. Got some other stuff down there. All the Instagrams, Danielle's channel, all the fun stuff. Uh, and yes, we will have these three books linked down below if you're intrigued with any of them. One of them, I don't know how easy it is to get anymore, but uh, yeah, we'll list it down there if we can. And uh, let's get into the books. All right, first up is Alien. The novelization of the movie by Alan Dean Foster. And there is actually, I think he did almost all the Alien movies. Because I think there's, yeah, there's Aliens. And then Alien 3 is all by A Alan Dean Foster. And then Alien Resurrection is by somebody else. Um, definitely a series I want to continue. Um... I have not really full-on seen the movies of these, and if I have, it's been a very long time. I know my great-grandma up in Wisconsin had a VHS of this movie, but I always watch The Shining because that's just what I do and am. Um, but this pretty much is the exact movie. Um, I did what I usually do, and I watch clips of the movie because that's just what I am. And so, pretty much you're following. If you haven't seen the movie... I mean, it's pretty much the space crew gets woken up because there is a beacon coming from a planet. I don't know why I just said planet like that. Um, there's like a, a distress signal coming from a planet. They go to the planet. Meanwhile, there's like all this weird stuff ends up happening on that planet. One of the crew members get infected and bam, alien ends up on their ship. Um... I cannot Sigourney Weaver, I think that's the name of the actress. Uh, she's the one who plays Alan Ripley. Um, probably one of my favorite um, female like main action hero characters that I enjoy watching. Her and I would say Sarah Connor from the Terminator series and franchise. Probably my top two. Um, but yeah, pretty much just like how the movie goes, Alien invades the ship, they're trying to survive, and yeah, pretty exciting stuff. I really enjoyed the book. I am probably going to just settle on a five star for this just because it was really well written and a very good adaptation. The twist with one of the characters, one of the crew members, it's just the same as the movie is. Um... I just, I, I really enjoyed this book. It was really cool. So I just need to find Aliens, and then I'll read that one and let you know about it, because out of the whole franchise, I think people say Aliens is better, or is the best in this in the franchise. Um, but I don't know. i got to read that book and possibly watch the movie. But yes, there you have Alien, the adaptation by Alan Dean Foster. All right, next up is Fairy Tale by Stephen King. So... I feel like some of you guys are probably wondering why I didn't save this for last. Even Danielle just asked me that. Well, because this one, I'm going to say we have got a whole bunch of stuff going on with this book. It just came out last week. Yeah, depending on when this goes up, which it should be soon. But last week, this book came out. I tried getting the reading vlog done by this past weekend. Didn't get it done, but I tried, and... We're going to end up doing a podcast episode this upcoming Monday with this book. There are going to be spoilers in the podcast. Just a forewarning if you do not want to know anything about this book. We usually not at try the start. Well, yeah, we usually try and keep it spoiler free for the first little bit and then we are going to do our best to like just announce like, "All right, spoilers happening from now on. Just like be aware of that." So, 
Uh, we are going to do our best to not spoil anything for the first couple of minutes of us talking about it or first while, and then we are going to be spoiling some stuff in the book. I guess I will, because I read it, she didn't. Um, but uh, we also have a reading vlog on this book, like I said. We'll have that up here if you have not checked it out. My thoughts on this book, like I said in the reading vlog, I'm settling on four stars. I feel like a lot of people are going to question why I didn't do five. It's, I don't know. To me, it was such an amazing, it was such a great story. One of my favorite characters of all time, Radar, the dog, like, literally made most of this book, like, even better. Um, Charlie as a character was fantastic. I don't know, I just, there are some parts of the book where when he's in the real world, it felt like it was a nice thriving story, it was really good, and then when he first transitioned into the other world, in down in the staircase, like, it was nice, and it was fun, and then there are some parts that just kind of felt dullish, like it didn't feel like... It didn't feel like how it did, and for that reason, I'm going to settle on a four-star. I also really wanted more Dark Tower references. I don't know. I just really wanted more Dark Tower references, because they set it up so perfect. Even when he enters the other world, like two sons that's in the Dark Tower series. The world that Roland is in has got two sons. So, I mean, maybe he's on the opposite side of that world. I don't know. I just wanted more references, but it is what it is. I still really enjoyed the story. I thought it was really good. Maybe I'll do four and a half. I don't know. But I'll, I'll settle on four. So definitely not a five star. But this cover is absolutely sick. And they also lead into making it seem like the eyes of the dragon with this cover. Like, it looks like an eye. I don't know. Whatever. It was still a good book, and I enjoyed the story. So, four stars. Fairy tale. Stephen King. All right. And last but not least... We have got Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. Uh, Danielle wanted me to read this book. I was going to read it anyway. And I... I just beat you to it. <laughs> I have some thoughts on this book. This book is about a girl named Daisy Darker. Duh. And pretty much what happens is her Nana dies. And the whole family comes together to basically just go over her will. Or no, 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 it's her 80th birthday. It's her 80th birthday, and she had, a, like, a gypsy woman tell her in the psychic. past. What, yeah, gypsy, psychic, whatever. Basically tell her that on your 80th birthday, you're going to die. And so it's like, everyone's coming to this party, like, all right, she's probably going to kick the bucket. She kicks the bucket. And it happens after the will is read because she's presuming she's going to die, and, like, nobody in the family gets left with anything good except for the neat, the great, no, granddaughter. I think it's her granddaughter. It's Daisy's sister's daughter. That'd be Nana's granddaughter, yes. So, everyone's, like, all, like, this is stupid. She's a dumb old lady. Arr. And it's basically kind of like Knives Out, but, like, way darker, in my opinion. <laughs> Daisy Darker. Terrible joke. Um, and so pretty much what ensues is Nana gets killed and everyone's trying to figure out who's doing it. Meanwhile, everyone's kind of getting picked off one by one. Well, it's locked room. Yeah, it's a locked room thriller and I, there is, oh my gosh. I'm sitting at four and a half stars for this book. Danielle gave it five. I'm sitting at four and a half. I would like to disclose my reason why, but it is a spoiler. It is an event that takes place later on in the book. You can just say that there were characters well, well, you didn't like. Well, it's not the fact of the characters I didn't like, it's the actions they did that I didn't like. There's something that happens later on in the book in like a flashback scene and, I mean, that's kind of, like, what reveals the whole entire plot of the, the entire book. So that's, like, I can't say anything else. But it really makes me hate three characters. And it is absolutely aggravating. 
Um, I feel like some people are like, oh, but that's like what makes the book. And it's like, I can't accept that. That is just terrible. I am literally, I read it, I paused it, and I went up to Danielle and I basically said, I might just DNF this book. Because I, after reading that, I just can't with this book. Like, I felt it was just heartbreaking. I absolutely hated it. Um, if you know, you know. Um, but that's what I'm going to leave it at. Four and a half stars. That one incident just knocks off a half star. It was going to be a full star, but I felt like this book was just too good to do that. It's a very good book. I absolutely love it. But I just, mm, that one scene, I just can't. I can't even, bro. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. All right, so <laughs> these... All right, so these are my recent reads here. Um, I enjoyed all three stories. They were all really good. Again, the genres were kind of all over the place. You had your sci-fi. You had your thriller. You had your... I don't... All of them kind of have a touch of horror, though, right? Like a... Like a crumb? Yeah. There's... Yeah. There's a tiny bit of horror in all of them. I mean... I don't know what the heck to really consider fairy tale. It's kind of like a fantasy thriller. I don't know. It was nonfiction, um, or it was fictional. Nonfiction. I don't know anything about books. My goodness. All right, let's just end this video. All right, we'll have these three linked down below if you're intrigued with any of them. Don't forget to look down there for the podcast, all the other stuff we have, the Pango books, all that fun stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you've read recently down in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.